Hi everyone, I'm going to try something new here, and this is kind of inspired by Darkness the Curse's reading of Final Fantasy VII, Rain Strife, the story of Rain Strife, and Halo, Halos in Space, and Halo, Halos in Space 2, Aliens Attack, and I thought, you know what, that made me burst out into laughter, so I'm going to go and try and find some fan fiction and read it out and see if it's funny hopefully it'll be hilarious but i don't know how bad it's going to be because if i'm reading it for the first time then i won't know ahead and if i read it through first then my reactions won't be as genuine so this is one that i found called mega man at mcdonald's i'm sure other people have done this as well but this is my first time reading it so this is going to be uh, my initial reaction. This is actually on the PlayStation forums. I don't know if this is the original, if this is originally where it's from, but this is this is where it is. It was made on the 31st of July 2009, so four years ago. This would have been before Mega Man 9, I believe. Yes, that... No, hold on. Mega Man 9, didn't that come out in 2009? Maybe because someone tell me, would this, would this be before Mega Man 9 or after? I don't know. Either way, this is Mega Man McDonald's and I'm sure the events of 9 don't really make much of a difference of his McDonald's career. So, let's get through this. Chapter 1. Mega Man, you owe me $44,632.50. Why could okay? Did he have to be so specific? Couldn't he just say you owe me thousands or you owe me over thirty forty thousand? What did you spend it on, anyhow? Doctor Light asked. Diapers, Mega Man replied. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. Proto Proto Man, who appeared out of nowhere, said, "McDonald's is hiring." Perfect, Mega Man, accept this job and get a Big Mac. I won't work for that crumb bucket excuse for a fast food reference for a fast food restaurant. Chick fil A is also hiring Mega Man to Proto Man told Mega Man. Ooh, don't wanna work for Chick fil A, not with their homophobic um policies, although this was in two thousand nine, so this was probably before the controversy. Cutman appeared from the door. <laughs> <laughs> they're just appearing out of like what why are they where are these people coming from chick-fil-a is hiring yay and as fast as he came he went to chick-fil-a and took the job it's applying for a job isn't that easy it might have been that way in 2009 but certainly not now 16 hours later Mega Man was finally forced to work at mcdonald's then some fat drunkard who appeared wet his pants appeared and said i'll take a happy meal with a girl toy chicken nuggets with a small chocolate milk you smell horrible take a shower you drunk idiot Mega Man said okay he would be fired on the spot i mean you don't talk to the customers like that you're fired that's how it would have gone a lek man Mega man's boss <laughs> um what would would a robot master take you on if you had previously killed them? Or does this take place before the events of Mega Man 1? Who knows? Alec Man, Mega Man's boss, appeared and told Mega Man that he shall never deny a guest, even the most ridiculous request. Oh wait, that's from SpongeBob. What? He said even no, I was wondering where the quotation marks were. He said, even if he is the most, even if he's the worst smelling person ever, still give him his Hello Kitty toy with nuggets and small chocolate milk. See, today, if this was pl taking place in 2013, that person would probably be a brawny. Mega Man couldn't stand him, so he added volcano sauce with real lava. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, how would you add lava to food? How would you contain the lava in the in the McDonald's? And how would you serve it without anyone noticing? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of eating his food, the drunk fatty ate the toy, then he left. One of the employees came and ate the leftovers of the fat man's food. Then he got burned and died. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Proto Man, who knew Mega Man did it, and just appeared and said, Censored? What? Mega Man said, I didn't kill him, he killed himself. A bit like how atheists send themselves to hell, I suppose. That same line of logic. <clears throat> Proto Man replied, Oh, then it's okay, I'm here to get Dr. Light's Big Mac. That will be three dollars. Three dollars? That's overpriced for any family discount. No. Then tell Iceman that you hate his supply of ice cream. Okay, it's free. So now... Um... Blackmail works at McDonald's. Thanks. Now I'm going to eat it on the way and tell them... Tell him an elephant came over and attacked me. What? Elec Man was angry and he told Mega Man that if he... If he made one more mistake, he's going to have to clear the men's room with his tongue. <laughs> An antivian. <laughs> well, there's, there's so much... There's, there's so little going on that you have to stay to an antipiate. An antipiate and ate a crumb of chicken nugget on the floor. Mega Man used his fully charged blast and missed the ant, but he... Blasted and killed everyone in the building except the ant himself and Elec Man. So that's kind of like the, um, you know, like the Tom and Jerry cartoons where Tom's trying to blow up a house or something and he, he puts dynamite at the door, then everything blows up except for the door. Or maybe it was a cockroach so he could survive the, the blast. But why would Elec Man survive? <clears throat> Mega Man, it's time for you to clean the toilets. Oh, the, 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 oh, oh, you couldn't think of a punishment severe enough for, like, destroying the whole building and killing everyone. <clears throat> chapter 2, coming soon. On to Chapter 2. <clears throat> After Mega Man had finished cleaning toilet number 3 with his tongue, do we need to know his toilet number 3? Johnny Sasaki, Johnny Sasaki appeared and made a huge mess. Mega Man cleaned it for the 682nd time. Um, <clears throat> just for the record, I have no idea who Johnny Sasaki is. <clears throat> just so you know. This job is terrible, but I need the money. Johnny Sasaki appeared again. Uh, did he disappear? So Mega Man blasted him to Burger King, which is where Tornado Man works. Do all the robot masters work at fast food restaurants? Shouldn't he be in Metal Gear Solid? Oh, okay, so he's that's where he's from. Mega Man thought. Mega Man decided he'll just stop using his tongue, and he may have yelled that out loud, and it may have echoed. 784 times! Okay, it may have echoed 784 times, so, uh, you know, if it did echo that specific amount of times, you would at least notice that it would have echoed at least once. Or was that the joke? I don't know. Elec Man was even more furious than when Mega Man blasted everyone in the restaurant and reduced the rating from 5 out of 5 to 0 out of 100. So they changed the rating system when the quality goes down, as well as the actual rating itself. And he's more angry about him blasting one person 
to somewhere else than he is about killing everyone there? Mega Man, what the heck is wrong with you? Proto Man, bad day. What, what is it? What is it with these people badging in everywhere? Like, oh, I've got something to tell this batter. Poof, knock down the door. When he was a baby, I was afraid he would become smarter than me. So I dropped him on his head 84,206 times. Again, the specificity of it all. How long would that take? I would. Uh, I mean, seriously, how many times could you drop someone on their head in a day? And then how many days would it take to drop them that many times? Surely they would have called Child Protection Services at that point. <clears throat> Proto Man. Is your name Mega Man? No, so mind your own business. Okay, even though he did display some. <clears throat> uh, valid information. That's rather important. Cutman came in and said, Chick-fil-A has its 10th star, yahoo! Then he left. Again, people just coming in, said something, and then leaving. I hate Chick-fil-A! Alec man screamed, and I think we all do at this point. You're just jealous. It has 10 stars. Shut up or I'll blast you! Even though he earlier threatened uh, Mega Man to not be rude to customers. <clears throat> Four hours later, Mega Man was on his break, so he decided to just lay down. Then he remembered some bully is going to beat him up today, so he hid in the women's bathroom. He heard the bully Andy Leckman talking. <laughs> Does he just have this, um, was this schedule did he have it like on a to-do list that he's got like planned for the day what's your name some the bully uh, is that is that a joke that his name is actually some you're hired be sure to be nice to mega man okay first of all okay again getting a job is not that easy you can't just tell them your name and then get the job right and second of all, if someone tells you they're a bully, and in your, you know, it's strange that you tell them to be nice to Mega Man, and of all the people that you want them to be nice to, this is the person who blew, who killed everyone, and you want them to be nice to him. <clears throat> Mega Man fainted due to blood loss. Wait, how did he lose blood? Chapter three coming soon. Now, we're on chapter three. Now, this is a this is a short chapter. Mega Man knew some of the bully found him in in the women's bathroom, but he obviously wouldn't go in. There was a rule for robots: do not purpose purposely bring harm to humans, or you will be deactivated. Then Mega Man remembered the bubble gum. No, wait. How would that help him? What do I have to do to to get out without a beating? Yell to the heavens, I want out. As simple as that, he appeared in the kitchen. Thank you, I want a $50 PlayStation Network card. What? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just confused at this point. But Mega Man didn't get one, maybe because he was bad this year. And maybe Santa would give him coal? Oh no, that would be even worse than being stuck in the closet for a week with Johnny Sas Sasaki and Snake yelling, Get out of that closet so I can kill you! Wait a minute, Chick fil A? Make a man being trapped in a closet? I think I can, I think I know why he didn't want to work with Chick fil A. Oh, did he? I can't remember. I don't know. <clears throat> a customer came, and it was an ugly man. Get out, or I shoot you for making me see your face! Mega Man yelled. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a tyrant from Resident Evil. Uh-oh. Slash. Chapter 4, coming soon. And again, for reference, I don't know anything about Resident Evil. 
but I imagine that the tyrants aren't very nice. Chapter 4 Hi, Mega Man. What happened to your head? Brotherman Man asked. It's just a huge slash. What's so noticeable about it? <laughs> See, the thing is with some of these jokes, it's like, it's like they're trying to be funny and that makes it less funny. <clears throat> Did you get mad at a tyrant again? No. Then why is Leon Kennedy launching rockets outside? Um, because the tyrant went on a rampage and attacked everyone else. Everyone, since I was rude. Okay, I believe you. You do? No, are you retarded? Retarded? Yes. Dot, dot, dot. Then some of the bully walked in. Hi, Mega Man. Hi, fat the bully. Zai. Because calling someone fat is like the biggest insult. Some of the bully beat up Mega Man brutally, which disturbed the customers. Uh, wasn't this, wasn't this building blown up like in the first or second chapter, and made them go away? Popcorn man popped in. Wait, popcorn man. Anyway, anyways. You want some popcorn, Proto Man? Large, please. Wait, I have an idea. Five minutes later. Step right up and for a hundred dollars, see some the bully beat the crud out of Mega Man. Surprisingly, Proto Man got fifty six billion dollars from selling tickets, and Popcorn Man got fifty six. Hold on. F 56 million and zero cents from selling popcorn. You do the math. That $100 each popcorn, $100 small, $200 medium, $300 large. Hold on a second. A few chapters ago, $3 for a Big Mac, or whatever it was, was completely outrageous and uh, and Doc, Dr. Light like stormed out and threatened to tell them about an elephant or whatever and suddenly they're making billions of dollars selling popcorn for three hundred dollars after 16 hours Mega Man was done getting getting bullied oh this McDonald's is up for open for a long time or are they open 24 hours I'm not sure he had to go back to Dr. Light's lab to get his head fixed. Mega Man. Did you be rude to a tyrant and get bullied again? <clears throat> How did you know? Leon Kennedy was launching rockets at something and Porto Man and Popcorn Man made... $56 million each. <laughs> first, okay, first of all... First of all... Um... Proto Man made fifty six billion. And it was Popcorn Man that made fifty six million. And yeah, yeah, Leon Kennedy shooting rockets and Proto Man and Popcorn Man making millions of dollars is a sure sign of Mega Man being bullied, I'm sure. <clears throat> Just fix my head. Six hours later, Mega Man. Looks in the mirror. I have a blue head. You're supposed to, you nitwit. Chapter 5 coming soon. Uh, and that's the end of it. So, that was weird. <clears throat> I sure liked the beginning more than I liked the end in terms of comedic value, but still... Uh, it ticks the boxes for uh, an appropriate fan fiction in that it makes no sense. I mean, the grammar's not terrible, so it isn't doesn't really work out that well as a fanfic. So, <clears throat> but it's yeah, yeah, it's um not the worst, and therefore not the best. It's not so bad; it's good, but. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. I'll see you all next time.